So this week, our topic was black life in Brooklyn. Through the background information, we found that with white business owners and professionals refusing to serve black communities, black entrepreneurs stepped in to take their place. This created many job opportunities for African Americans. Though African, African Americans were still largely segregated from the white community, they differed from the white community because they did not separate their communities based on economic status. In the Do the Right Thing trailer, we see that Sal's famous pizza has no interest in integrating African American culture into their business. On the wall, there are only pictures of white men. When asked how to get pictures of, of famous black African American men onto the wall, the owner responds, get your own place, then you can do whatever you want. Spike Lee's Brooklyn represents the oppression of African Americans in Brooklyn at this time and the civil unrest that it caused. In the season one opening of The Cosby Show, we see an upper class African American family being depicted as a loving family. In comparison to Spike Lee's Brooklyn, I do not see many similarities other than the fact that both both films both films are regarding African Americans during the 1980s. Through these two trailers, we find that while it was possible to be African American and raise a happy, loving family during this time, there was still a racial divide in Brooklyn. In the Korean grocery store clip, three friends are sitting on the street in Brooklyn, clearly upset about something. Two of the friends are saying that whatever the issue is, it's being caused because they are black. The third friend says he is tired of hearing that excuse. In Sal's Wall of Fame clip, a young man is kicked out of Sal's when he is told that there are no African American on the Wall of Fame because Sal owns the place and as long as he does, there will only be Italian Americans depicted on the wall. According to Spike Lee in these films, it seems as though he is saying Koreans, Italians, and other non-African American cultures are controlling the neighborhoods. This is important because it created a social divide between African Americans and the rest of the community. When Mookie is told to stay black, Buggin' Out is referring to the fact that he thought Mookie should have sided with him rather than helping Sal to kick him out. Through this, we find that there are many stereotypes about relationship, about the relationship between race and class. The message in the Vanessa's Rich clip from the Cosby Show is that this clip, the message is that money should not be used to judge someone. Vanessa gets into a fight with girls from her pep squad because they find out that her family bought an $11,000 painting. These girls tell other girls on the squad who start a fight with Vanessa, calling her a rich girl who thinks she's better than everyone else. They do not directly discuss race in this clip, but it is insinuated. Vanessa comes from a financially stable family that can be considered somewhat upper class because both of her parents have high paying jobs, something that was not the norm at the time. Some people criticize the Cosby show saying that the, Hus the Huxables were a white family in, in blackface. From this argument, it is apparent that people perceived the reality of blackness as not being well off. In the show, the mother was a lawyer and the father was a doctor, professions that some say were almost impossible for African Americans to obtain at the time. I do not feel that the Huxables were a family that had essentially abandoned their race. They were depicted as a respectable, humble family who were proud of who they were. The characters in the Do, in Do the Right Thing, Buggin' Out specifically, would think that Cos the Cosbys failed to stay black. He would think that the Cosbys thought they were better than him because they had money. Cliff, Cliff Huxable would tell him to stop making excuses and to strive for what he wants rather than to be jealous of what others have because he can accomplish anything he tries. Spike Lee would agree that racial, racial prejudice still plays a large factor in the opportunities that are available to African Americans. Cliff Huxtable would say that African Americans now have many opportunities that their ancestors did not. He would agree that opportunities are based more on class than on race. Although I was not around in the 80s, so I cannot form an opinion on that time, but unfortunately I feel as though racial, racial prejudice still plays a large role in today's society. It may have decreased from the 80s, but I hope to see it decrease even more. The, ML, the MLK clip is demonstrating Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream that once very racially divided country can come together to live in harmony. I only have a very basic knowledge of the Huxtables, but I would imagine that they still content they still contend it with racial racial prejudice. As far as a color line goes, it seems as though they have come out on the other side. Both parents had good jobs and are highly regarded in their field. Prior to this assignment, I was not at all familiar with Spike Lee's characters, but it seems as though they had not yet come out on the other side of that color line.